mother is is he has to go to court because he wants to protect his right. brother and he's himself. He's got the lawsuits he's watching. Are you in touch with your mother at all? I'm still in touch with her to talk to my little brother, but right now my mother is is I don't know. She's it's so it's such a weird situation. You oh, know, it's my man. it's my mother. It's my mother, and it's like I love her no matter what she does. But sometimes when I look back at the things that she did to me, it's 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 crazy. Dude, man. you don't even have to say you love her. You can get over that. No, he can say it. I do. No. I do love her. I he do love, love her. That's my mother. You don't Honestly, love her. Every I do kid love loves her. their mother. Well, uh, I do. It's, a, it's an unconditional love, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? If my mother died right now, I'd be right there at her funeral. You know? Yeah, I know. Huh? But, yeah. you know. <laughs> How old are you now? <laughs> 24. Oh, wait till this crap comes up later. Oh, oh boy. Geez. Let's hope he doesn't turn into you. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever try to have sex with you or anything? Yeah. Uh, she didn't no. really? No. Nah. No. Okay. <laughs> that would be even better. <laughs> Mommy, stop touching me. <laughs> she never touched you. Don't touch me there. It hurts. You're not kidding. It hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh right. man. What happened to you, Howard? Nothing like you that. All right. I mean, my dad used to make love, but it was consensual. No, no. That was, but that, that only started two years ago. It was beautiful. On my 43rd birthday. Yeah, did you two discover <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Dude. Was, hey, you know what, man? Hmm. You could you could talk like a black guy all you want. Ah. You do what you want. Earned it. You earned it. He'll stop all right. doing that when he's full. You earned through. it. Thanks, you got to admit, Howard. pretty bad <laughs> life, huh? That's a messed up life. That yeah. is messed up, man. That's you must right. be one messed up dude. I bet you we're gonna be you're gonna be on crack or something oh, at some point. Stop it. We're gonna be reading about you. Like, I'm off it right now. Are you? You were yeah. on crack. Were you on crack? Yeah, you oh, were. Yeah. How'd you how'd you get off it? Oh, I don't know, man. I just I kicked back and I got out the gutter, man, and I just. Are you being serious though? You really got off crack? No, okay. No, I wasn't on crack. <laughs> my name is my name is my name is Slim Shady. I can do without the rest of the song. I just like the hook. Right. Right. Your album sold 480,000 copies in its first two weeks. Yeah. Damn. That's pretty good. Now, how much of that you get? Have you seen any money yet? I haven't seen. The only thing I've seen is money from touring. I haven't got my first royalty check. I don't get that till October. You're going to be playing Woodstock? Um... I don't know. Really? I don't know. I'm I'm like there's like a couple of tours that I'm like debating but we haven't like decided on anything yet. Hmm. And 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 uh I like some of the lyrics too. Isn't it weird how you talked about taking out Pamela Lee's breast implants and then she took them out? She took them out? Yeah. yeah. I did not no, nah, I swear yeah. I didn't. Your song not. was prophetic. Maybe that's why she took them out. Maybe because she heard the song. Yeah. Meanwhile, you know what I hear about Pamela Lee's breast implants? Yeah, they're writing it now. Oh, they are. Yeah. Well, oh. Cindy has it in her column today. I think. I'm the one who talked about I know. it. No. So so what happened? She got she just she has breast implants. She just got smaller ones. She's saying she took them out. She didn't take them out. Yeah. They didn't credit me. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, she's got it in her column. Hmm. Yeah, huh. Red, she removed them. Well, she didn't just remove them. She actually redid them. Right. Oh, come on. And she didn't credit me? <laughs> nope. Cindy's taking all the credit. I'm the one who broke that story. <laughs> what happened? It wasn't me that like gave her a guilty conscience. I, I think that's what I, I thought you would like that. That's pretty good. That's funny. All right, so you had some real crummy jobs, 550, 515 hours of cook in a Detroit restaurant and, and all that kind it of stuff. It was a suburban restaurant. It was black, a suburban restaurant. Black guys beat you up all the time in your neighborhood and all that, so you had it pretty bad. When I was younger, when I was younger, as right. like growing up as a teenager or whatever, as soon as I moved out of the house... Um, what age did you move out of the house? Um... Like seventeen. Really? Yeah, I was like. And when did you? When did your mom stop talking to you? When you were seventeen? No, my mother has always talked to me, but like, it's kind of like an off and on relationship. It's all good. It's all. It's good. all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> You're brainwashed, dude. It's all good. So you think you, you love your mom because at least she didn't leave you. At least she took care of you. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. That's not it at all. But, Children mm. bo are born oh. loving their mother. Right. They want to love you, and they, you want to love your father love too. Yeah. It's but, all right if you want to cry. Go ahead. <laughs> don't be, don't be uptight about it. <laughs> What is I it to talk Gary? to this dad. Boy, yeah. He messed up. Dad's now contacting you for money and stuff? Nah. No. He hasn't con I've heard he wants to get in touch with me. Okay. But, yeah, you, you know. you're not going to get in touch with him. Nah. Yeah, cool.